In this video, we'll be looking for some advanced features that is inserting objects. If you remember, we have seen some hyperlink option where you can link your file to some other PDF, to some other PowerPoint, or you can say some other video. But in this file, there's some more advanced. Suppose if you're going for a presentation to a company, you carry several loads of files into your pen drive. So that can be avoided. How you can do is you carry just one Excel file. In that Excel file, you can keep on inserting different objects like a PDF, like a video file, a PowerPoint, a Word document, anything. And that when you go for a presentation, you can carry just one file. So how we can do it? So your file size will also be increased. Let's see how we can go for it. I have on the screen written as insert PPD video and PDF. I'll show you all the three demos. Now I'll first insert a PPD into my Excel sheet, right? So I'll just go to insert tab and you can see there's an option given here on the right hand side. That is the object. So once I click on this object, I'll get a dialog box. In this dialog box, if you see, there are two options given as create a new and create an existing or create from file. So I'll select the second option because I have already created a file on my desktop, some folder. I'll click on browse. Once I click on browse, this is the location of my files, which I've given. And you see there are three files, sample PPD, sample video, sample PDF. So I'll select this sample PPD and I'll click on insert. Now this sample PPD, that's one PPD which is inserted uh, in the folder. Now it will come to my Excel sheet and I'll say, yes, I want to display as an icon. Now when that file will be inserted into your Excel, it will look like this. That's the icon. And if you want, you can change the icon name. Suppose you want to give your name, you can give it, just remove it and you can change the icon. Let's see, I'll change the icon here, right? This is the place. I'll select some other icon and I'll rename it. I'll just change the caption here. Yeah, I'll write here new PowerPoint file and I'll click on OK. Once I click on, I'll change the name of the file and click on OK. You see the icon will be inserted. That's the icon and the name of the file has changed. Now, how do you open it? It's very simple. You have to just double click on that file and the PowerPoint will open. Double click on the file and the PowerPoint open. So this is the PowerPoint file which is given here. And I'll just go to next slide, next slide, next slide. So this way you, you can keep on giving the presentation. It looks very fancy and it's a new method now, right? You can keep on going next slide. Once you have done, the file will get finished. Yeah, that's all. So this way uh, you can insert a PPD. It's very simple and easy. I'll show you one more method, another file you can insert. I'll show you how to insert a video file when you carry your power, uh, what do you call it, Excel sheet. Just keep your cursor in the Excel sheet and follow the same process. Insert tab and then you can see you have to insert this object, create from file. Now I have already a video file in my folder. So I'll browse that same folder, same file here. I'll click on browse. You see, I have a sample video. So I'll click on this sample video and click on insert. Now, similarly, I'll say as I want to display as an icon. So I'll select display as an icon, same process. If you want to change the name, I'll just click on this change icon and I'll rename this. Rename this to video one, change some icon, kind of anything and click on okay. So that's it. Once you click on okay, now you see this is the video file which is inserted. Now, how do you open it? It's very simple. Just you have to double click on this. It will give you a dialog box. Do you really want to open? I'll say, yes, I want to open a file. That is the video file. So this way, if you give a presentation, it looks very good, right? And I'll just double click and close the video file, right? Now, similarly, if I'll show you the last one, how do you insert a PDF file? If you want to insert a PDF file, same options, go to the insert tab and click on this insert objects, create from file. I'll click on browse. I'll include sample PDF and click on insert. And I'll say as display as an icon. If you want, you can change the name and you can click on OK. So now I'll just drag it and bring it down like this. That's it. And I'll double click on this PDF file. So once I double click on this PDF file. Yeah. So once I click on this PDF file, it opens and I have to click on open. So PDF file, if you see in the browser, it is open. Now this is some PDF for advanced Excel by tutorials point. You see there's a PDF which is inserted. So it's almost how many pages? 232 pages. Now the size of my Excel file has increased a video file, a PowerPoint, and there's a PDF file again. So that's you see loads of contents available here. Now, 
there are different types of options which you can insert you can also insert a word document you can ins also insert a software into your excel which is already existing so this way it makes your presentation very nice very good to look at i hope you have understood how to insert different types of objects into the excel that's all for this video